Camp Zama recently conducted a phase one drill of its emergency evacuation program. The drill gives all personnel who are considered evacuation eligible the chance to familiarize themselves with the proper steps to take in the event of a real world evacuation. U.S. Army Japan and the U.S. Army Garrison Japan's Directorate of Plans, Training, Mobilization and Security Office conducted the drill to enhance the community's emergency readiness. Over the course of the past 18 months we've been dealing with COVID and there's been restrictions in place to where we haven't been able to execute this biennially and this effort is to get after readiness once again, ensure our personnel are able to evacuate in a timely manner in the event that there's a state of emergency declared by the Tokyo Embassy, and then ensure our units uh, are able to process in a timely manner and able to evacuate those that are designated as non-emergency essential and our family members uh, to a safe area in the event of a natural or man-made disaster. During the five-day exercise, participants convened at the Camp Zama Community Club, where they were led through different stations with help from on-site subject matter experts. The team members reviewed the participants' EEP packets and answered questions about what to expect in the event of an actual evacuation. What we do for the, from a garrison aspect is basically to coordinate uh, the readiness of all the unit EP wardens to make sure that we receive from all the warden, unit wardens here their completed and fully uh, vetted uh, what we call a unit um, evacuee by name roster. So it's the list of all the per sponsors with their family members and their pets. And the other function that the garrison um, supports with this EP phase one and phase two drills is the coordination of key enablers, uh, staffing of key enabler stations to make sure that the functions and the services uh, to support evacuation per specific sections in the EEP packets are, are provided to participants as they come through the drill. The EPP uh, process was very fast and efficient and then also I think it was a great opportunity for the sponsors to see what they needed. Um, I learned one thing today was uh, that the uh, animals, the dogs, have to be receive rabies once a year, which I wasn't tracking. Usually a rabies shot is three years. I think just it helps you to be reflective on the things that you need uh, to make sure that if something is to happen that you're prepared to take care of um, your car, your household goods, uh, your family, um, and just make sure uh, everything's in order. And so I'm much appreciative to have this opportunity to do this. The EEP drill is held twice annually and consists of two phases. Phase two is the physical evacuation drill, which will include the simulated ground transportation from here to Yokota Air Base or Naval Air Facility at Sugi. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, this is Kevin Kratzarek.